And now, the general weather around Alaska. Okay, well, there's a high wind warning out here for the northern portions of the southeast coast for winds gusting to 60 miles an hour for into early this evening, actually about to end here on the southern areas and then by 7 p.m. expected to end up in the northern areas as the uh, low pressure area weakens rapidly as it makes landfall here along the North Gulf Coast and moves into the Yukon. And for the satellite image, you can see that low here early on about 4 a.m. this morning, moving northward here just off the coast, and that pulls right into near just east of Yakutat and begins to weaken rapidly. A lot of moisture streaming northward here, bringing some pretty good rains in areas uh, of the eastern interior. Eagle picking up about half an inch today or so, and then uh, rain ending from south to north here over the southeast coast. And to the west, a lot of sunshine here from Kodiak Island, Bristol Bay, right up across south central Alaska into the uh, northern Cuscombe Valley and then northward there and toward the Kobuk Valley areas. More clouds here over the western part of the state and out to the west, we've got a front that's starting to break up here, as you can see, as it pushes eastward, bringing rain into the eastern Aleutians of the main low pressure area farther back to the west, way out here towards Shimia. And again, westerly flow pushing that front eastward, but little progress to the north, but it looks like uh, some precipitation will reach the Pribilof Islands here. Actually, it already has and definitely will tonight with that system developing another frontal boundary, and that'll spread, uh, definitely spread rain into the Pribilof Islands this evening or continue it if it isn't going already. And the warm front with that system will push rain into the western Alaska Peninsula later tonight. And that rain will extend all the way back to Adak and Atka, and then scatter out the showers farther to the west. And this uh, first system here tracks all the way up into the Northwest Territories McKenzie uh, Delta area there and uh, weakens. And that leaves uh, actually another system here just to the west there actually weakens and I'll spread some more rain into the coastal areas of the Panhandle, but it'll be a lot less wind and a little bit drier. Rainfall rates will be less as that uh, system moves northward here rapidly up to the north. And another trough will spread some rain showers westward here along the North Gulf Coast into Prince William Sound, maybe into the southern Kenai Peninsula area. <clears throat> so look for a general increase in the clouds here for Cook Inlet and Mazda sit in the valley after the sunny day today. Uh, but uh, precipitation amounts will be pretty light here. It'll stay dry over Bristol Bay. Scattered showers over the southern interior. On up to the north, we've got some light snow for the eastern Arctic coast. Again, uh, kind of colder air coming back down from the north as that low tracks northward there. Mixed precipitation over the northeast interior, Yukon Flats. Again, light precipitation. Dry here over the uh, Kobuk Valley northwestward into the northwest coast. And then for tomorrow, we'll see this system tracks northeastward here and bringing a better chance of rain. Definitely a cloudier, wetter day for south central Alaska. Kodiak Island eastward into the Panhandle. Look for increasing winds again as this system approaches from the west with rain overspreading the entire southeast coast all the way down to the Queen Charlotte Islands. And uh, most of the Copper River Basin will be dry as the precipitation initially gets hung up along the coast range there. And so the Tanah Valley into the 40 mile country will have a nice day tomorrow and that'll extend back to the northwest there. Still a chance of some mixed rain or snow for the eastern uh, Beaufort Sea coast into the Brooks Range. And big low pressure area out here over the southern southeast Bering Sea has a front here, keeps it wet for the Alaska Peninsula into the eastern Aleutians with showers in breezy conditions with north winds, uh, maybe 15 to 25 miles an hour and some higher gusts here. Not too strong out over the Aleutians. And that showery condition will extend all the way up to St. Lawrence Island. And then for the uh, Friday time period, we're looking at that low tracking eastward into Bristol Bay. So periods of rain there for uh, areas from uh, actually Cape Newenham, Togiak, Dillingham, King Salmon, down across the Alaska Peninsula, Pilot Point and some pretty gusty westerly winds here coming into the uh, eastern Aleutians. Maybe gusts possibly as high as 35, 40 miles an hour out of the west there. 
enhanced area of uh, precipitation drops down into the Pribilof Island areas with showers extending northward into the Bering Strait and actually along the uh, Cape uh, Lisbourne Point Hope area, maybe to Point Lay, but the Arctic Coast North Slope looking pretty dry, extending down with uh, partly sunny skies into the central interior. Looks like uh, rain again for the North Gulf Coast and along this weakening front that hangs up right along the coastline of the Panhandle. So a wet day there, Friday, and another system here down to the southwest. We'll see on Saturday, that one rolls right on up. Good southwest flow aloft, pushing these, mo or these systems right into the southeast coast. So a wet, start, wet windy start to the weekend here uh, for all of the southeast coast. So the windiest conditions down over the central and southern areas, a lot less wind up to the north. Showers, mostly cloudy, south central Alaska on up toward the uh, Alaska Range, where it becomes a little more scattered. North of the mountains, mostly dry, but from Eagle southward, North Toke, Chicken, and those areas, uh, maybe some light rain at times. And not bad up here over the northern interior, northern Koyukuk Valley area, Bettles on up toward Arctic Village, Anatovic, back out toward the Seward Peninsula, partly to mostly sunny with dry weather extending up to the Arctic coast, along with light winds. And the Bering Sea not looking too bad, the slow weakening here now just west of Cape Newenham. That'll keep it on the wet, unsettled side here over just about all of the southeast Bering Sea here. And then a very weak system coming into the far western Aleutians. And from there, looking at the lows tonight, 20s and 30s from the Brooks Range to the Arctic coast, 30s and 40s for the remainder of the state. Mostly in the uh, 40s for the Aleutians and the Bering Sea. 40s the lower, 50s for the southeast coast. Highs for tomorrow, 50s here, all of, uh, well, mo just about all areas here south of the Brooks Range with uh, upper 30s to lower 40s for the North Slope and Arctic Coast, and uh, near 60 or into the lower 60s there from about Sitka down toward Craig and Cloak. And then the, high, the lows on uh, Friday morning, upper 50s or upper 40s to mid 50s for the southeast coast and generally in the 30s here over the eastern part of the state upper 20s to lower 30s so the brooks range is the arctic coast south central alaska westward in the 40s and that includes the bering sea and as you can see all of the aleutians and then the highs for friday afternoon we've got lower to mid 50s for the aleutians Pribilofs. Southwest coast, mid 50s in Bristol Bay, upper 50s Kodiak Island, and mid to upper 50s for South Central Alaska, 55 to 60 there for the uh, central interior, especially around the greater Fairbanks area over toward Eagle, and 50s to lower 60s for the southeast coast.